make a quick, maybe not so quick, we'll find out, video on my camp box. Bam. Had some stickers made. This is just obviously for car camping. So, it's good to have a lot of this stuff and this just makes it easy. We had these ever since I was in Boy Scouts, you know. <clears throat> just a big box with everything you need. Saves you a lot of time when you just want to go. That's how a lot of my trips are. Just uh, on the fly. Now there's probably a couple things that are missing out of here and then everybody's going to have their own own way of doing things for sure but show you what we got here it just makes it so much easier to deal with so two of these these are O2 coal brand these things are like seven eight bucks on Amazon two D batteries I want to say you know when you're camping in the summer this thing's awesome in your tent two of those one for me and my old lady or one at the table one in the tent whatever fire starters gotta have those it just makes it quick and easy no paper no nothing throw one of these down or I use Espit tablets a lot but I bought these recently and they work pretty good so I've been using these just light the package not this whole thing but just a little box you can buy these at Walmart for like three bucks for the box light the wrapper save you a lot of trouble sometimes you know you get in a hurry you're out all day canoeing or whatever and you get back to camp and just want to have your fire so these are quick super easy just a cheap stove tech sport I got this for like in a Christmas gift exchange thing wasn't bought for me it was just like a random gift thing you just pick out of a pile and I've been pretty happy with it I mean it works there's no wind block like compared to what a Coleman would have but I'm sure this thing was like 20 bucks if that lantern which I just bought this last year it's just an Ozark trail I always carried a normal lantern you know that took propane and I just got sick of it it's loud gets hot it's just a pain in the ass to be honest but I don't like this either and you can see just it's just too white of a light just more blind you than anything but then I have uh, UCO candle lantern. I don't know if you've ever seen these. They're nothing special. They're certainly not bright. But the candle, you know, you can hang it. It's relatively safe. Candle burns for nine hours. Just another option to throw on the table when you're just chilling. This little track, you know, less bugs than compared to a normal lantern because it's just not as bright and a dollar color and I have <clears throat> spare candles I'm not gonna do this in any order because I'm just pulling stuff out I haven't gone through this very <laughs> recently at all so then I just have I do a lot of these little just cheap Ziploc bag thing or throw away Tupperwares this is kind of like a sanitary kit you know I carry that stuff in my backpack too but if I forget something you know I got q-tips tiny first aid which I'll have my 
better first aid usually. Tylenol, which we'll see what's actually in there. I'm sure it's Tylenol, but it's all just Tylenol. A lot of times I'll mix in uh, Pepto and do some drinking when I'm camping, so you get the shits and a headache from a hangover. Q-tips, hand sanitizers, and then those uh, wisp things. Just to brush your teeth if you forgot your toothbrush. And some all-purpose towelettes. Just to kind of wipe down your body or whatever you need them for. I carry wet wipes for taking a shit. Let's get back down in here. Tablecloth. It's nice if you go to... I don't like to camp at campgrounds, but where I go down south, southern Ohio, they have picnic tables. It's, it's a campground, but it's not your typical campground. And it's just nice to have that. You never know what your picnic table may look like. Propane, obviously. A couple bottles of that. And then I carry, you know, for cooking besides that stove I take uh, my Weber go anywhere grill which I don't I don't think I have a video up it's in my Ohio power video maybe I'll make one because I love that grill make a video of it a couple of uh, sponges just for cleanup which I try to do the least amount of cleanup as I can just a tiny bottle of dish soap trash bags which are usually in a Tupperware but I cannot find it it must be in my truck from the last time I went camping just didn't get thrown in Ziploc bags you got leftovers or just whatever these things are pretty handy to have smaller Ziploc bags and I guess I'll move to this which is just a Stanley, I don't know if this is their adventure series or not, but it's just Tupperware inside of Tupperware inside of Tupperware. Just packs up real small. If you got leftovers, throw them in there. I honestly haven't really used them. We usually just cook what we're going to eat, you know, and I got a dog, so she'll eat what we don't eat. And, uh,. So, I don't know if you threw this in a cooler, if it would uh, be waterproof. You know, you might get water in your food, which obviously wouldn't be good, but eh, maybe I'll do a test. Probably not. You can pick those up at Walmart, too. Shit paper, wet wipes. I usually carry a lot more wet wipes. Just a little uh, pot set. Nothing special for sure. Definitely cheap. But I got, you know, I just had old like kitchen pots. And they take up a lot of room. So, that's the one pot. Another pot in it. Neither of these say the size, but. And then the lid just fits both. Usually I just try to do grilling, but you know, I'll make some mac and cheese and stuff like that. So something like this is kind of needed. Just a Coleman silverware set. When it's just me and my old lady, I we use this. It is more clean up, but I prefer it over plastic silverware all the time. You know, that's when we camp, we eat good. We'll take huge pork chops that we grill and steaks and screw having plastic silverware. 
And then other than that, you know, I just have just throwaway bowls, cups, which we really don't use that often. Things in cans and stuff like that. Really mostly beer unless it's before noon. Olive oil, which does go bad, but I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a new bottle this year. I bought that one last year. I'll probably just use it. I don't care. Can opener, bottle opener, toothpicks, and then this multi-spice. This you kind of have to buy every year because camping you're getting moisture no matter what. Every night it pretty much does, you know. So, and I always try to put everything away at night. So I'm not getting due directly on anything, but if it's in a box and a box and a box, you know what I mean. This inside that and whatever, you'll usually do all right. Just some Clorox to go wipes. Just wipe down your table, wipe down whatever. Definitely comes in handy. Cookware. Pretty simple. My cast iron skillet. Scraper for it. Cast iron pretty sweet for camping. It is super heavy, but you really don't have to clean it. You just kind of scrape it clean and preheat it before you use it the next time you're good to go. You have to wipe it down with some oil or whatever just to cure it or um, I think that's what it's called. Cure it. But. And then the skillet or grill Thinking about ditching this. Just extra weight I absolutely never use. So that might not go back in here. Just uh, playing cards, pencil, and a notepad, you know. Get bored at night, play some cards. And I, like I said, I keep it in this that way. Put it at in this at night. Keep it on the picnic table if it rains or dews. They're still good in the morning. Bug spray. Other bug spray. Just a couple uh, like microfiber towels. Just for whatever. Cleaning the dishes or whatever. Extra tent sticks extremely important because a lot of times I put up tarps and stuff like that and sometimes my sticks just get separated from my tent I don't know how I just threw a whole bunch of extra ones in here it's no weight you know sure ain't gonna hurt to have them a roll of this is the max strength duct tape duct brand and this is uh, awesome. If your tent ends up leaking or getting a rip, repair it. I've had a hole in my air mattress, repaired it with this. Invaluable, obviously. Paracord. Always can use it. Run up a line to dry your clothes, whatever. Extra koozies. You know, most places you go, you're not supposed to be drinking, so. Conceal it and they don't care. Just a survival candle. Works good on the table. At night. Whatever. Good to have. Easy to put it in. Uh, just another fire starter. That just ended up in there, you know how it goes. Spare knife. Just a Gerber. Nothing special, but you know, I'm not using it in any other way, so throw it in here for a backup. This is new that I added. A little torch that fits these, the Coleman. This is a 
the burns matic brand. You know, I've got a lighter on it. If I was having a hard time in the rain, starting a fire, who knows? Multiple uses, tiny. Might as well have it. Two things of aluminum foil. Definitely use those. One thing, which I have a pad of paper here and a pen, which I want to write down is D cell batteries. I need to get those in here for my lantern and my fans and my uh, air mattress pump, which I keep with my air mattress, not in here. And these are uh, just clips for the tablecloth. <coughs> Extra just junky little headlamp. It's a Bushnell 65 lumen. Fits on the bill of your hat. Just an extra I always carry my headlamp. Just a handle for my skillet when it's hot. Extremely cheap multi-tool, but again, I, I really don't ever use it. So I just threw that one in here. It's an extra I got. Leatherman. Lighter. Make sure it's a good one. That you know, works. Uh, bottle opener, wine cork thing. So I've had plenty of people come and ask me for a wine opener. I don't drink wine. I drink beer. But I've had so many people ask me, what the hell? Throw it in there. couple of bungees, which I got usually a whole lot of these in my truck, but anyhow, carry these, can help you set up your tarp, do whatever. They come in handy, take up no room. And that's about it. I know I could be carrying a lot more, but I've kind of just found what works. And like I said, a, a lot of this is just kind of backup stuff, you know, I carry a lot of it in my bag. One thing I'm not seeing in here that should be in here is I carry a bunch of mosquito coils too. I don't know, they must be in my truck. Last time I went camping, we had a storm and we kind of got out of there in a hurry. So I guess it wasn't all put back all that well. But I suggest making one of these if you do a lot of car camping makes it real easy you know I can lock this although I mean if you want it in it you'd get in it for sure but can't hurt you know I don't pack this back in my truck when where I go camping a lot there's a lot of different lakes so I'll go driving I've never had any trouble with anybody stealing stuff but and I've never locked that or anything but you could but I got one, you know, this one has wheels on the bottom, which just, you probably can't even see them, but don't matter. Just helps you pull it around, because they do get pretty heavy, especially carrying cast iron and stuff like that. Um, besides that, I mean, that pretty much covers most of it. I see my plates aren't in there, my throwaway plates. Oh, I'm not sure where some of this stuff is, but I guess it's probably all in my truck. But anyhow, guys, I suggest making one and, you know, make it and use it a couple times. You'll figure out what you need to take. What you don't need to take. I've get that box smaller every time you know it's just stuff I'm not using screw it quit taking it keep it small because if I pack up my SUV and I need canoes and life jackets paddles and everything adds up two coolers firewood it'll add up and I got a truck too but I often take the SUV because it fits me and my girlfriend and my dog and everything just a little bit better than my truck. 
So, I think that's that, but you know, make it how you want it, but that'll give you a bit of an idea of what I carry. I also don't see any plastic utensils in here. I might just ditch those because I wasn't using them anymore. But if I go camping with more people, then I'll add in more plates, silverware, if i got to provide for certain people. That'll give you a good idea on what, where to start anyhow, and don't go crazy. I see so many guys with so many different kits and stuff, or whatever, and it just gets ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Take what you need, and not a whole lot extra. You go camping, you usually don't use half the stuff you bring. And I've figured that out, and I've eliminated a ton of stuff, so... Well, that's my camp box, and again, I'm sure there's a couple things that are out of it. I know there already are, and I might be forgetting to mention something, but you're getting the idea. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys, another worthy note on this is... I found my other stuff. I always take this box, too. It's a uh, Ziploc, and you can see it has this foam seal in it. And this, I take my dry food, you know, not stuff that needs cold. Nutty bars, buns, basically. Your buns don't get smashed. You know what I mean. There's my silverware, plasticware, my plates, my mosquito coils, my Tupperware for my trash bags, wet wipes, paper towels don't forget the paper towels man easy to clean up you can throw them in the fire and not create a whole bunch of trash but yeah that foam seal in there keeps the weather out you know keep your buns out and they're not getting wet basically just dry soft food in there all right thanks Oh, 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 oh,